over here I have different tinders this little ruler has that scale for the maps which one to one hundred thousand equals to all the way to five kilometers Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uga with Jebo Outdoors here. Today I wanted to demonstrate one of my findings. I truly believe it's kind of, you know, really a gem for the price. And I'm going to be showing you in a second here. Just recently I found this double ferro road for $6.99. Can you believe these guys? And if these guys work, it's going to be a really a true finding. No promotion or anything, you know, I'm getting from this. I want to, you know, really uh, give it a shot and try uh, stopping the fire with it. And then I'll try to cook something for you guys on a stone. First of all, let's open the package here are user directions which i read and look really legit to me and uh, it gives you all the information i'm going to put a picture of this uh, on a screen later on so what's in the package 6.99 guys and you get two of these really kind of thin but in surround stations quite enough ferro roads you get in this uh, scraper bottle opener this is a scraper tool and you got a uh, 45 degree on both sides to you know kind of scrape off your paint first and then yeah it already sparks quite impressive for the you know so cheap I would say ferro road and um, we'll give it a shot over here I have different tinders I got my jute twine I have my as I call it dryer cotton I have this toilet paper um, which is relatively dry um, it was sitting on the ground, but it's not too damp today. I even have this uh, little torn down parkour insulation and this little rope inside it so I can take it off and uh, try to light it up. And I also have zip, which I'm pretty sure that anything any spark will light this up and these fire starters wax cardboard or something like that i mean they're really hard to start i already had the video about it you want to check my playlist but uh, once they you know lit they're gonna last for some time to you know so you can make your fire stronger so we'll try all of these guys with this Chipo ferro rod with the striker and the rope. And yeah, only thing this is missing, I would say, is some kind of whistle. I wanted to mention this little ruler has that scale for the maps, which one to one hundred thousand equals to all the way to five kilometers. And the, on the other side, it has 50 millimeter ruler. Quite handy, you know. Here I'm gonna try to light this jute twin or the bundle. We'll see. Wow, that is impressive. First strike, wow. 
This is impressive, guys. Really. This little thing, you know, produces enough uh, heat to light the twine. And you, you saw I just, you know, bundled up a little bit of it. So I was really skeptical. What I've done here is just bundled up a little rope inside my parkour. And this is the insulation. So I'll try to strike precisely over here and see if it lights up. And this is made, this is not like military spec uh, parkour, this is a cheap one. So I'm again a little skeptical that it can be, you know, lit up with the uh, ferro rod. Okay, here we go, giving it a shot. Yeah, it just sticks to me, probably some plastic in it. But look at the amount of the sparks produced. This is really nice. I don't think I can light this up and set it on fire. Let me just try several more times. Yeah, this is like a plastic. I, I, I gotta give all the kudos to this ferro. It produces really hot sparks, I'll tell you that. Okay, this is number two. We will try toilet paper there we go I want to give it uh, equal chances shouldn't be like I would have you know done more tearing up you know for sure strike uh, in this case I'm not in a survival situation for sure so I'll, I'll try to you know light this one up let's do it Great. And as you can see, I don't want to set these on fire for sure. And look at the other side. Yeah, these sparks are really hot. I am quite impressed. As I told you guys, I'm not getting paid for the promotion of this product, but I'm really impressed. For $6.99, two pieces. So it comes to $3.50 for each. This is a really great deal. Try yourself, man. Okay. Getting to the next step. And my next step. Let me just move this aside. Not starting a big fire yet. Will be this cotton. Let's see if this catches a fire. There you go. impressive performance so far guys i won't be able to put the link in the description uh, but i'm gonna uh, put up the uh, picture on the screen so you can guys easily find it on amazon my next test goes to the little chunk of it and take it kind of apart just like that and give it a go there we go how <laughs> look at that I was trying to strike this one out and I got the fire on the cotton that is magic Yeah, Zip doesn't want to take a spark for some reason, or it's already, no, it's not. So I will just scramble it, just like that. That package was open, maybe it just got some damp in it. But uh, this is the easiest one to light up, and I'm wondering why I'm getting no fire so far. Okay, it went on and off. And it goes off. Yeah, it's probably wet. Right there. Yeah, it took me some time. This is really crazy. I was not expecting that. I was expecting to set it on fire with the first strike. And my camera is burning now. Look at that zip. 
how long it burns. The whole stone is on fire. Yeah, got some fuel in it. Can't beat the quality of that one for sure. Yeah. Guys, don't do it at home or near flammable objects. This thing gonna burn forever. I'm telling you. Look at this. I'm just trying to put out the fire and it's still burning. This is just like a gas, man. Okay, I'll try to chop this thing down to give it a more chance to catch the fire. I'm not sure if it will or not. This is a cardboard with, you know, damped into the wax, I believe. It's really hard to lit, as I said, and, uh, but burns steady. But uh, yeah, it's a cardboard. There we go, let's see. There we go. Okay, that was really impressive. I hope that Zeep fuel didn't help it out, but first strike, quite nice. <laughs> Let's agree on that. Works absolutely fine. Just don't forget to scrape all this paint over and then uh, please keep it in a you know some ziplock bag or something so it doesn't get soaked or damp you know and should be working fine on that note I uh, fooled myself and hope you guys learned something uh, from this video I'm gonna be carrying the ferro with me as a backup for sure right now I'm going to cook, make a little fire, start a little campfire and cook on the stone. I hope that stone doesn't explode on me. Let's get started here. One more thing I want you to try. This is not a birch bark for sure. So I will try to just make a little bundle here and uh, try to strike it. I hope you guys can see. Here it goes. Cheapo striker for fire. Yeah, it will be a hard one. But I, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Can't believe how hot these sparks are from this little ferro rod. And there we go. It was worth trying in survival situation. Maybe, yeah, this is what you got. And we got a little fire going. Wow, guys. <laughs> Let's feed our little fire here. It was quite hard to start with some bark because that bark doesn't have any raisin in it, right? It's not like a birch bark, but it is possible. So we'll wait to this fire to get really nice coals and uh, I'm gonna show you in a little bit how I'm cooking on a stone. And here is the moment of truth. Let's put our cookware. I really hope it's not gonna explode on me.
and this stone is hot enough I have some butter and I'll start with toasting some bread my stone just got exploded let me show you like this part in whole universe I chose the stone which can't hold the heat can you believe that guys hope it's not gonna do it again meanwhile let me show you this is the piece came off it so yeah stones do explode on the fire while this stone is still intact and it has some surface I can use and explode it again I'm alive I'm gonna still keep cooking let me see what's the damage this is so unfortunate you can see this small stone pieces in my fire better take them out but I still need to cook my egg so I'll try my best let's do it I'll go slower now so it can stick to the stone we're not afraid like we are in a survival situation I want to cook on the stone hope it doesn't explode during the cooking I just need like five minutes or less survival without seasoning not gonna work in this case salt pepper There you go, the stone pieces. This one is still hot. This stone was sitting in my yard. It's not like picked up from the river bed or somewhere or riverside, which was kind of getting wet for ages. It was bone dry like these other stones and it still got exploded. So yeah, this is what you expect. And here we are. Moment of truth. Oh, this is stuck to the stone here. I will go a little farther with it, and uh, you can see this suit over here. So I'll do it this way. This is my burger, stone burger, with egg and cheese. Let me just remove this stone from here so it doesn't explode to my eyes. So this is my stone burger guys. I hope you learned something today. I learned some things myself today and thank you for watching, liking and sharing my video. Um, I'm really happy I'm on 876 subscribers as of today and I'll see you in the next one. Hope this is gonna be delicious. Mm. What's this? A little stone flavor to it. Mm.